Now this is a moment Whelan's family and friends have been waiting days, months, and even years for. Tonight, 7 News Detroit's Kimberly Craig is in Manchester in Washtenaw County with the voices of those who have been rallying behind the Whelan family. These yellow ribbons have been around downtown Manchester for years. It started as a way to support Paul Whelan and his family who live here in town. And this is a day they've all been waiting for. I was so excited. I was hoping it was the truth. And when I got the truth confirmed, it was just like my heart melted. I was so happy for them. All around Manchester, there was a buzz about Paul Whelan. He grew up in the Ann Arbor area and his parents moved to Manchester about 35 years ago. And since Paul was locked up in Russia back in 2018, the community here has wrapped their arms around Rosemary and Ed Whelan through one of the most difficult times of their lives. One of our regulars came in and was like, hey, I just got a notice on my phone that they released Paul Whelan. And I was like, what? Leslie Kirkland owns the Manchester Diner where Paul's parents Parents come in once or twice a week. I know that they're getting up there in age and watch them decline over the years and I'm just so happy that we get, get to see them before they leave the earth. So many people say the years Paul has been locked up in Russia have been hard on his elderly parents. It broke my heart, you know, I mean, over the years seeing them, there was always some a sadness about them, you know, but they were always smiling. City Manager Michael Sessions. I know the community has been very strong and wanting to make sure that Rosemary and Ed had that support uh, and had that and had that uh, place to call home, and, and Manchester is the place to call home, and, and uh, I believe that you know our, our our community really showed that to the Whelans through this process. Paul Whelan's parents often volunteering around Manchester, including at Worth Repeating, a nonprofit retail shop where their friend Barry Allen also gives of his time. Kind of got my fingers crossed right now. You know, until he gets his foot on American soil. Barry afraid to get his hopes up again until we showed him this photo of Paul and some of the other prisoners freed with him and U.S. officials on a plane headed home. We're just glad to see him coming home and, uh, and thank you for that picture. That proves to me that uh, we, now we can take a sigh of relief. And that these yellow ribbons may finally be able to come down and end to a long ordeal for Paul Whelan and his family. It's just going to be great to actually take them down. Maybe, maybe they'll be the ones to take them down. You know, that would be great. In Manchester, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. Kim, thank you so much.